In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for P3 minus, the phosphide ion. But before we write the electron configuration for the phosphide ion, let's just do neutral phosphorus. We say this is neutral because it doesn't have a plus or a minus sign like the phosphide ion up here. In fact, all of the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. Because they're neutral, this number here, the atomic number, which equals the number of protons, that also equals the number of electrons. So we've got 15 electrons for phosphorus. Let's write the electron configuration. We use this periodic table here where we have it broken up into the different orbital blocks. You can also use this chart right here. There's a link in the description how to do that, but this makes a lot more sense to me. So we have phosphorus and we have 15 electrons. So we'll start with 1s and s that can hold up to two electrons. So we have 1s1, 1s2, we'll put the two in there. Then we go to the 2s. We have 2s1, 2s2. We've used four electrons. We have 15 total. So we have 2p next. And p, that can hold up to six. We'll put all six in there. We've used 10. From 2p, we go to 3s. We'll put two in the 3s. And now we have 12 total electrons. We need 15. So when we go to the 3p, even though it can hold up to six, we're only gonna put three in there. So all these numbers add up to 15, the number of electrons for the neutral atom, phosphorus. But we wanted the phosphide ion. When we have an ion that has a negative charge, that negative means that it gained electrons. So if you gain an electron, you've gained a negative charge. In this case, we have a three in front of the negative. So we've gained three electrons. So we're gonna add three electrons here, which will give us 3p6. And this is the electron configuration for P3 minus, the phosphide ion. We should also put our three minus up here. You should note that the highest energy level, these threes right here, if we add the electrons up, we have eight. These are the valence electrons. And because we have eight, that means that this shell here, it's full. And that's a very stable configuration. In fact, this is the same electron configuration as the noble gas argon. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for P3 minus. Thanks for watching.